blurry. There we go. Hi, my name's Scott. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to go over what it takes to get spectacular images of the night sky using just amateur astronomer equipment. I'm going to go over a gear breakdown and what procedures I use to get these images. The target that I'm currently on is Andromeda Galaxy, also known as M31, and we'll do a brief description on that. Thank you. Hope you enjoy. The Andromeda Galaxy is our nearest neighboring galaxy, reaching a distance of about 250 million light years away. Andromeda is located in the Andromeda constellation near Cassiopeia. If we were able to see Andromeda, it would be roughly the size of six full moons in the sky. The radius of Andromeda is around 110,000 light years. As of right now, with our understanding of astrophysics, we estimate our Milky Way galaxy to collide with Andromeda. Unfortunately, you and me will not be around to witness this event because it will take about 4.5 billion years before this happens. Luckily, this will be more of a merging rather than a collision. With all that being said, let's get right into it. First things first, we got a polar line. So what I'm gonna do is get the North Star right on the clock of the polar scope. So we'll pull up here. And then we'll open up the Sky Adventure app, and go into the polar clock, and whatever your time and date and location are set to, you'll have a little dot where Polaris should be. Uh, you just want to adjust the controls until you get Polaris there. This is how it will look through your polar scope. And you want the zero faced upward. And in my case, I have the North Star below the nine. So I'm just going to adjust until I get that there. And once you've polar aligned, then you're going to want to locate your target. I typically use the Stellarium app and I type in my target, locate it, and then I set the time to nighttime so I know where it is in the night sky. After zooming in, I'll bring up the target coordinates. And down here, remember to save the RA and declination numbers as you can plate solve and center your target with these numbers. I typically will get in the vicinity and just adjust as I plate solve. After we completed that, let's open up the ASI Air app. And once you get this open, you're going to want to enter your longitude and latitude. I notice on the plus it I have to enter it in manually every time. I'm not sure if they're gonna fix that. On the Pro, it didn't have that issue. Um, also, I tend to keep the main focal length at zero as it will calculate as you plate solve. And just remember to have your main camera and guide camera set and any other devices you have. Once we have it open here, you're going to wanna take a preview and see where your focus is at. If you're a little out of focus, um, just go ahead and focus, then perform an autofocus. 
I find this always to work just as good as using the batten off mask. Once we're all done with the autofocus, remember to set your camera to cooling. I have it set to negative 10 Celsius. And go ahead and perform another preview. After you have your preview up, go ahead and perform a plate solve. You'll then see the RA and declination coordinates. You'll want to refer back to the coordinates that we had on the Stellarium app and adjust your mount until we're within that range. And once you get close enough, you'll be able to see your target if it's bright enough. Here, I actually see Andromeda in my frame. So then I'll just adjust until it's centered. Once you're all centered, then just go ahead and perform an auto run to whatever perimeters you want to image for. And don't forget to turn off your neighbor's lights. After two nights of imaging, I was able to acquire four and a half hours worth of data. I was very surprised with the results that I got. Hope you are too.